Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Career Mode. But today you may see I'm starting a new career mode. It is Oz Ed Alkmaar in um, in the Netherlands. Um, now you may see we have a starting budget of 10.14 million and 41k in the wage budget. I haven't signed anybody to my youth scout staff yet, but I have shortlisted a lot of players. Please do drop in the comment section below if you've got any really good for me. I've got Ismail Azawi, looks good for a backup. I think he's 65 rated in real life. I've got Adam Unas, Jakub Yankto, Carol Linetti, both from Sampdoria. And then we've got Wendell, who I think is like 83 rated. Abdou Diallo, Jean-Luc Kumi, Rami Benzabini, Marlon Kumbula, Pereira, Carlos Perez, Alenia Halilovic and Gaston Ramirez. Gaston Ramirez is really the last player I'd buy. I just sort of quite like him. So we're going to simulate forwards. Um, we're not actually. So have a look at our objectives. UEFA Europa League reached the quarterfinal. We should be okay with that. Orange Becker reached the quarterfinal. Eredivisie achieve a high finish. I don't know what they think a high, um, a high finish is. Signed four players in your youth academy assigned to the midfield position. Within two seasons of the three, youth academy players by at least 10 points. Soon there's within 20 matches. Sell out at least 85, at least 70, at least 70% of league home games this season. Uh, well, 27 million. Well, I think those objectives are very doable for me. And now I'm going to have a look at the team. So we're going to start here. Usman Idrisi, 23 years old. Um, two star weak foot, four star skill moves. I don't really skill move a lot. 84 pace is good. His rest of his stats aren't great. Flair, long shot taker, outside shooter, technical. He's 23, so that's good. Miron Buardo, looks like a great player. Only, nine, only 18. Calvin Stengs with a great haircut. Has okay stats. Why do all these players have outside foot stats? Um, 76 pace isn't great, 81 dribbling. Mitso looks okay, looks like Norwegian or something. Um, stats are very much 70. Classy, 28, I think I'll be looking to replace him. DeWitt looks like he has room to grow. Coop Miners looks like a great player to start with. Windle, 19. Vlar, 34, who I will sell, and Svensson, 26, very good. So I've got players on the bench here. Goodmanson, looks okay. Correa, um, I've got some good players here, but I will be looking to invest in youth talent. So the first thing I'm going to do here, is I'm going to go to, is I'm going, and I'm going to go to my youth squad, and I'm going to stick. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not going to get anybody just yet. I'm going to wait for scouts to come in and see if I win the pre-season tournament. If I do do that, then I will have a bit of a look around. So... Loaded for Drew Yiff. Um, yeah, he can be loaned to Dirt Dirt for Team all of us. Since he's only 21, I can definitely loan him out. Home at Sampdoria. Um, I really don't know what this game's going to be like. I hope we win. Ah, oh, we lost 3-2 to Sampdoria. Fabio Qualiarello with a hat-trick. I mean, is he retiring? I need to have a look. Fabio Qualiarello. Is he retiring? Yeah. Qua... Fabio Qualiarello. He's not retiring. Great, I'm going to shortlist him then. I don't know why I have to scout him. He's a very well-known player in Italy, and he's like 36, so... Oh, scout reports are coming in. Arlen Halilovic's scout report. Man United, Andres Pereira for Hertha Berlin. Stin Voitens. I might sell him if I can get more than 4 million out of him. Voitens, I'll be looking to get at least four point 
43 million pounds I want for him. Um, that's as much as they're willing to pay. I will reinforce that. 4.2 mil. I just want 4.2 mil. So that their final offer. No, you will pay 4.2 mil. Is it just me, or is David Moyes' eyes really, really wide? I mean, look at them. Oh my god, that's scary. Alright, take him. 3.2 mil. Right, see you tomorrow. Bye, Steve. Off on Friday. See you tomorrow, innit? RCD Mallorca in our next game. Bye, Steve. So, Mallorca. 1-1, Idrisi rescues a point. Dusseldorf beats Sampdoria 2-0. Oh, so, we are still bottom. Although we should. I've got loads of scout reports in here. There are probably some more players in there which aren't there. Yoris Kramer. He can go. Let's see what the scout reports say. I think there's only 65 rated. He is. Yankto 74, Wendell 79, Abdu Diallo 80, Lukumi 74, Benzivini, Marlon Kungula, Andres Pereira. He has accepted, so if I want him to go straight in. Arlen Halilovic is 72 rated. And I don't know what Fabio Qualiarella looks like. Oh, I could go into sign, really. I don't think I will, though, because I've got Miron Boado in my team. I ha really have to beat Fortuna Dusseldorf today to go through. Uh, RZ against Dusseldorf. Yes! Does that mean I'm through? I think it does. It does, doesn't it? Yes! Arles Jankovic. That's a nice name. Qualiarella, how well are you rated? 81 rated. Nice call, Yorella. Nice. Respect, Fabio. Right, so in one day I'm going to get the rest of my scout reports, as you may see right now. Elenia, Carlos Perez, Kumbula, Unas, Marlon. Ben Zabini, Linetti. So, we've got a load of good players on our shortlist, all really much 70s, as you'd expect them to be. Now we have to beat Spal in our next game. Beat them, we get some good budget, even if we lose. If we need to lose the final. Yes! Tomovic gets a red card. Coop Miners, David, Britannia scores for. Um, Matania scores for Spal and Madrisi scores for us. I hope I get to play Sampdoria in the final because that'll be fun. No, it's Brescia. Brescia did beat Sampdoria in the end. I thought it was a 1-1 one -one draw. It was a 1-1 one -one draw in normal time, but Brescia must have won in extra time or in the final. So, RZ against Brescia. And we win the pre-season tournament. Torre Grosso with the goal on 80 minutes. But Usmana Idrisi with a hat-trick. Two winners, the game. RZ, tournament prize money. Two mil, I'll take that. That should give, give me about 16 mil. Yeah, it gives me 17 mil. Now let's have a look. Gilles Claus from Belgium can go there and I want to send him rest of your... Denmark, Norway, I will go to Denmark and see if I can get some good youth players from there. Now we have 13 million to play with. I'm really looking for a centre half. Unas looks really nice in, it, in the Napoli kit. Lukumi, Marlon, Kumbula. Elena's on loan, so is Perez. Right, so I think it's either Luke, I think I will get Kumbula, 
And I'm going to haggle. I am really going to haggle with Hellas Verona. So, I really want to... What's his name? Is it something like Vlad? Vlad. Vlad. Offer transfer fee. 6.2 million pounds for Cumbula. Okay. I'm going to um, delegate the wage. I don't have 7 million to play about with. Wendell's too much. I really would like to get Ben Zabini, but he's in his first season. Uh, let's get Andres Pereira, maybe. So, hopefully, Marish Kumbula is going to be joining RZ. Kumbula offer accepted. Marash Kumbula is. I want to see another kit. Yep, he's an RZ player. Right, I'm going to put Vlad on the transfer list. And see how much money I can get out of him. Where is he? Vlaw, he's retiring at the end of the season, so I really am going to have to get some money out of him. Right, I wonder who I have on the first day of the season. Learn of a vin for Vindal. I'm not loaning him to Nice because he's my first choice left back. Release clause. Oh, that's not good. Coop Miners, I need you to get a new contract with no release clause in it. Delegate renewal. Oh, he's got a release clause still. Oh, I didn't think of that. Right, it's time to get a future star. I can't get any. How did that happen? Oh. Well, there will be no future star. On the first day of the season, we have got Fortuna S. I think that I am going to simulate this game. I am going to attend a press conference because I've never done a career with the Dutch team before. I didn't. I didn't. I actually think I did. It might have been. It might have been in FIFA 20, but it was Ajax. But fans in a state of constant euphoria. How this is great display impact your squad. Uh, we do have a lot of quality in this squad, we have an okay team. Are the team's targets to qualify for Europe for football? Um, we have good players, we need to go out and achieve that. After Cumberland's acquisition from Verona, fans are eagerly awaiting to see the grace to field. What do you expect from his debut? Um, he'll prove he's the right man. I think he will because Marash is a very good player. It's, I think it, it's either Marash or it's Marash. I know his name's spelt Marash. But let's simulate this game against Fortuna S and... It's a win on match day one. Three nil. Mitso, Stains and Guardo all score. They're all some of my very best players. Right. Vlad is not played. Transfer for Idrisi and a transfer for Svensson. There is no way I'm selling Svensson 
or Idrisi. Idris is from Morocco, that's cool. Hellas Verona. Hellas Verona must have signed somebody for him. Hatziakos. I think I know who he is. Yeah, I'm gonna let him go out on loan. PSV. Right, RC Vivolk in the next game. Gonzalo Higuain has moved to Valencia. I don't believe it. RKC Volvaik, 3-0 again. Devit, Idrisi and Vindel all scoring. Hopefully I should be getting my first scout report sometime soon. It was about here. I think in this career mode I will do um, a month per episode. Yeah, Clays comes in with his monthly scouting report from Denmark. Benjamin Lund looks okay, I'll keep him. Philip Oelson, I'll go. Hans Sorensen, I, I will let keep. Victor Hansen can go. Tobias Franson can stay. And Mikkel Madsen can go straight in the academy. Very, very good first um, scout report, this. At home against Groningen. Hopefully, it can be three wins in a row now. I R Z it's gr oh just one nil. We've won our three games by an by an aggregate score of seven nil. Very happy with this. We are now another transfer for Svensson. FC Porto. You're not having him. Nope, not having you on a Svensson. I already, I already declined that. Final. Actually, no. I meant to check that person in my youth academy. Mikkel Madsen in there on his own, 52 rated, with a potential of 94. I will now go and stick him in a training program so nobody else from, to go in there. Madsen, race against the clock. Rookie attacking scenarios. To be fair, when I do this, I just really pick anything, put it in the bucket. Tackle practice, and I'll I'll train him on free kicks, so he might be a good player later. Direct free kick novice. So Madsen can be stuck in there. Pursuit. As we try to keep up in our pursuit of Ajax at the top of the table, it is really going to be us versus Ajax. When do we next have them? We play Feyenoord, we have Vitesse, Sparta Rotterdam, Mattersburg. I think I'll play against Sparta Rotterdam. No. Um, I will sim against Vitesse, play against Sparta Rotterdam. Simming at Mattersburg and Ardo Den Haag and then playing at Heracles next next episode. But and we have our first game now against Feyenoord. But it's not our first game at all. It's the first game I've played against Feyenoord. Now I will stick Vla onto De Boer. I'm gonna stick Correa on for Uwe Yan. And I'm gonna see how we can do. We need a bit more squad depth and better players in every area of the squad because right now we have a good starting lineup but we have nobody outside that. Yes. Right. Right, 
Reinhard, why does it say Rotterdam? Oh, because they're from Rotterdam, aren't they? But, Feyenoord, away. Is that Stefano Sensi? That is not Stefano Sensi. Calvin Stings. We win it back straight away. It's in towards Bordo. Ah. Toonstra. Berghuis, who's a really good player. Jorgensen. Is that Matthias Jorgensen from Sweden? I think it might be. Svensson. Plays it out to Stengs and he then chops inside to Mitso. Miron Boardo. Oh, Lays it out. Matthias Jorgensen. Berghuis. That was quite well played by Jorgensen under pressure from two of us. DeWitt tries to get there. And doesn't Steven Berghuis. Oh. Going the long way around, Windle. Oh, oh, come on, Windle. What the hell are you doing, Jorgensen? Decent block. Ozkuap. I think Kochku, who was a transfer target in my Macclesfield career mode, is a is uh is a final player. I think so. Anyway. Because I remember he was 75 rated from final after I think it was two seasons. So he must be good. I, I will look for him. I might have a look for him sometime next season sometime. But right now I am just concerned about making a Champions League place. You see, with a great team like RZ, it's hard for me to find games that I simply think I need to play. So I will just be playing a whole load of games that I probably will win easily. But this is probably not one of them. Because Feyenoord are a very good team. In towards Bordo! Oh, puts it wide. I remember this is the stadium Chesnoy Gaming always played at in his Leeds career mode. I remember that. Oz Kuyakup. Oz, Oz Yakup. Berghuis. Oh, nice play around the outside of Classy. Still going Stephen Berghuis. Into Oz, Yo Oz Yakup. And it falls here. Matthias Jorgensen. And it's a good shot. He had more time. I think he had more time than he realised. Because it was a because it was a fair, because he could have just gone forwards there. Driven in by Feyenoord from the corner and straight at the goalkeeper. Ah. It will get quite interesting though, if teams like Atalanta and Roma, if I get to play against them, because they will be very interesting players. Miron Boardo's through. Come on. Boardo. Boardo. Lose it to Sinesi. It's a nice tackle that by the defender. Coop Miner's trying to go out to Jorgensen, but it falls for Kumbula, who plays a poor pass. Right the way across. Steven Bergquist, it comes off Kumbula. Well played, in the right place at the right time. Falls now, Miron Boardo. Can get it back into Idrisi. I think he does now. He does now. Usmana. Oh. Sensenesi. Berghuis. Oz Jakob. Gertrude. Gertrude away from DeWitt. Windle. Berghuis. Good tackle. Coop Miners. Gertrude. Oz Jakob. Fair. Oz Jakob with the cross in! And it's Jorgensen! He should have scored. He should so have scored that. Falls for Steven Berghuis. Into Jorgensen again. Gets the shot off straight at Bizot. Feyenoord have had terrible finishing in this first half. Terrible! They could be about 3-0 up against me, but instead it's still 0-0. As we head towards the break. Hold on a minute. Do it. Oh. Half time. Away at Feyenoord. It is nil nil. And I would love a win. 
in this game. Absolutely love it, I would. Uh, I think I'm going to bring Avian on for Stings. Yeah, and that'll be it. Come on. Let's get the win at finals. It'll be great to get a win there because all of the other games really are... Quite a lot of the other games are just sim win. It's rare that you're going to lose all that much. Mitz are looking to go out to Sinistera. Turns inside now Evian. Up against Sinistera, turns inside in Miron. Mitzo back towards Miron. Well, it wasn't in towards Miron, Brado. Coop Miners, great header. Knock down, Windle. Do it. Ah, oh. Sinistera to Haps. Back into Sinistera. Ooh, I thought that was going to fall for Bordeaux in the middle. Oh, ah, oh, I didn't mean to shoot. The decent shot, though. Yeah, we do need to grow the squad in terms of good players. Like, Azawi would be a good buy. Steven Berghuis. I always think of Berghaus, you know, the coat brand. Um, is it a coat brand? I think it is. Pulled back by Feyenoord. As I talk in football terms for once. Classy. Great pass through. Usmana. Tabuado. Evian. A terrible shot. Coop Miners. Oh, was that not a foul? Idrisi stays on his feet, pulls it back. Svensson plays it back. Classy. Ooh. Ah, his haps to fair Tornstra. I wouldn't be too disappointed with a draw, although I really would like a win. Oh, a fantastic play from Feyenoord. Fur Sinistera breaks away from Svensson. Now Evian, Evian, what are you doing, Svensson? Evian looking to chase away from Sinistera, who plays really well, but Svensson. The Norwegian has won it back. Miron. Mm. Bilo is going to take this goal kick for Feyenoord now. Van Beek. Gertruida to Kotschku, the player I was talking about before. Steven Berkwies, Gertruida. Oh, it's come off, the, oh, it's come off my defender. Come on, Duke. Come on, come on. Coop Miners, Coop Miners. And it drops a fine one. Great tackle. Now we move. Idrisi. towards Miron. Oh no! Puts it wide. Should have gone down. Should have gone down. And then I would have had the penalty, scored it and won the game. I probably wouldn't have even scored it. Probably would have just missed it and lost it in the last minute. I might still lose it. Narsingi comes off Swenson. Evian, that's a foul. How is it not a foul from Narsingi? If they score now, I'll be very injustice. Now we move up field. Do it. Oh, one through to Kochku. Kochku running at the defenders. Come on, I need a last minute winner. Oh, or I lose the game in the last minute. No, I don't lose the game in the last minute. I might still lose the game in the last minute, but I haven't lost the game in the last minute for now. It looks as if it is going to be a nil-nil draw with Feyenoord right across the face and it is a 
nil-nil draw at Feyenoord in the final game of the episode. It's not a great result for either of us. We were trying to continue our trek to win, to actually challenge for the Eredivisie title, but we have drawn this game by no goals to no. Well, this was a bit disappointing that, although we are still third, Ajax have not played yet, Utrecht I think it is a top of the league, no it was PSV were top of the league. So Madsen I think has gone up there, has he? So, it has been a very good episode for us, it's, a very, it's the first episode of the series, we have had three, three draws in simulations, three wins, sorry, in simulations, and one draw in a played game, and we have started our career with RZ Alcar. Thank you for watching, I'll see you later, and goodbye.